I cannot heave my heart into my mouth. There are no words for what I'm feeling. Do you know? Do you know? And yet you find them again and again. Your pain and anguish of your own loss is written large upon the stage. Does it help? I think it must. If only my own grief could be dissipated as such, but it can't, can it? And it is because of that grief is not my only pain. It is my whole existence in your shadow. It is women born to a status that dooms us to your ill will. Oh, that there be women that do abuse their husbands, I'm of no doubt. But the balance is grossly tipped in your favor. That we must assume that everything we do is to be dismissed. That all talent and interests all passion and sense is just a quirk of our sex and can be indulged but never validated. That we must instead sit quietly and patiently watch as you enjoy the fruits of your labors. Imagine it so for you. Then you see how my own desires languish in the dark. And still your sex thinks we are less that we have less to be able to survive, that somehow we feel less. Oh, well, I would you use your privileged position in that wooden O of words to let husbands know their wives have sons like them. They see and smell and have their palates, both for sweet and sour as husbands have. What is it that they do when they change us for others? Is it sport? I think it is. And does affection breed it? I think it does. And is it frailty that does earth? Is it? It is so too. And have we not affection? Desires for sport and frailties as men have? Then let them use us well. Else let them know the ills we do, their ills instruct us so. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs>